you know, it just occurred to me a couple of seconds ago that most of you have no idea what it actually takes to get some success as a 3D artist, to get some success as anything else in this life. Most of you guys have no fucking clues. So that's what we're going to talk about. Because I had a patron sent me a request. He sent me his website, his portfolio, his offer. He put together an entire system and he wanted me to tell him what I thought about it. He wanted me to give him some feedback. And I thought, no, none of you guys have ever asked me anything like this before. Some of you asked me to review your portfolio, to check out your model, to talk about your Instagram page or something. But none of you put together a system which is as advanced at, as what this guy put together. And I thought, I got to tell you, I got to lecture you guys about this shit. You guys don't even understand what you're in for. You guys don't understand how far you have to go if you want to get some success in life. In anything, this shit applies to anything. Whether you're going to school, whether you're going to uni, whether you're, I don't know, trying to get good at anything in life, whether you're trying to learn to play guitar, whether you're trying to learn to fight. All that shit, gaining the skill is just the first part of the entire process. You guys don't even understand that there's a whole nother world once you cross this fence. And that's what I want to talk to you guys about today. So here's what usually happens. Here's the situation that most of you guys are in right now, okay? You're watching 3D videos, you're watching all my tutorials, you got all these courses and you got my ebook and you got all this. You learn how to use Blender. Most of you probably didn't, but some of you guys are getting to the point now where you can create most stuff. You can create this bottle and you got a nice visual, uh, you got a nice visualization of this on your Instagram where you made this little speaker right here and you put a couple of pictures like this on your Instagram. Maybe you got a little portfolio going on, but you don't understand that you're just barely dipping your toes in the water. This is why most people on the internet here on these YouTube videos are complaining about how competitive it is, how difficult it is, how, you, how it, it seems to be such an in-demand topic. It seems to be such a hard thing for people to figure out how to actually make money, how to actually get clients. Because most people just pretend like, or most people live under this delusion that if you're good at something, you're going to have people knocking on your door, trying to hire you, trying to give your money for, in exchange for you to provide your services to them. This is not how this shit works, okay? Think about this. How many people do you know who went to school for whatever, they wanted to become an economist or a psychologist or what, what, what the fuck do people go to school for nowadays anyway? You go to school to become a computer scientist, okay? Let's talk about a skill which is actually useful. You, you learn to become a software engineer or maybe you learn to become an architect or something like this, a construction manager. I, I like that. I like that career. I think that's very useful. I have a personal passion for shit, which is actually productive in society, which is why I'm, I'm, I'm getting tired of this 3D shit, to be honest with you. We're not, most of you guys just want to do this so you can have fun, so you can make video game models. What the fuck is the matter with you? We got a world to build. There's people getting bombed right now. We got problems to solve. But anyway, let's say you study to become an architect or let's say you study to become a computer scientist. And just because you got a diploma in your hands, doesn't mean that you're going to get hired. Doesn't mean that you're going to get a job. Now, most people go through this because they want to get a job. They want to get better money. Most people don't do this because they want to necessarily be an architect as opposed to a mathematician or an astronaut. Most dudes don't really care about this that much. Most dudes just want to travel the world and have adventures and, and experience some crazy shit. Most guys just want the money. They just want the career. They just want the stability. They just want to, you know, be able to live a good life. They don't actually care that much about the career itself. The career itself is just a means to an end, okay? So what you don't understand is that once you get the skill, that don't mean that you're going to get hired. It doesn't mean that you're going to get a job. It doesn't mean that you're going to make any money out of this. There's a whole other procedure. There's a whole other workflow that you have to commit to if you want to start making some money. This applies to anything. This applies to getting 3D clients. This applies to getting a job as a software engineer. This applies to pretty much everything in life, okay? So now you're going to have to sit there and figure out a way to make some money with your skills, okay? And this isn't just obvious. This, this is not something that anyone's really gonna guide you through. When you go to university, no one's gonna sit there and tell you, okay, once you, you get a diploma, you have to go to talk to this person, meet that person. It's, a, it's an entire system that you have to employ if you want to make it, okay? And maybe they're gonna give you a little bit of lectures here and there about where you can, who you can talk to if you want to get a job, but it's really not that simple. There's a whole different set of skills which you have to apply. That You have to build an entire system which is going to allow you to use your skills to firstly deliver value. 
You have to find a way that you can deliver value. And then you have to find a person which is going to be down for that, which is going to want to accept that. You have to find the right person who's going to be like, you know what, this, this thing that you're creating with your skills, I can use that. They don't care if you're a good 3D artist. They don't give a fuck if you can, you can make a photorealistic 383 bottle. Why the fuck do people buy this? It's just water. He doesn't care. Okay, the client doesn't care. The client wants you to use your skills to do something which can make him more money. That's why he's hiring. He doesn't care. He doesn't know what topology means. He doesn't know what HDRI is. He doesn't give a fuck about any of this stuff. Okay? So you have to make him understand that you can make him more money. And you have to explain to him how you can make him more money. So you have to sit there. This is, this is your job. Just so you understand what I'm talking about. How deep this shit goes. You guys gotta, you guys gotta stop playing the fucking Roblox all day. You guys got shit to do. You got so much work to do. You're not even ready. Now you're going to understand why I'm so hard on you. Buckle the fuck up. So what you have to do is this. You have to, first of all, figure out what sort of value you can deliver to somebody with your skills. Okay. So for example, if Aryan is selling water, I should get into, I should sell you guys something. I, I should think of a product to sell on here. Not some bullshit like energy drinks. I should think of something smart to sell you guys on this channel as merchandise, right? I don't want to do t-shirts. T-shirts are boring. Maybe I'll do it. Fuck knows. Anyway, let's say Aryan starts a water company. That would be genius. Now, Aryan's not going to need you because Aryan can do 3D himself, uh, himself. But you can find somebody who's making speakers or somebody who's making knives. And you realize that this guy in your granddad's village is making knives. And they're very fucking cool. And he can make a lot of money if he committed to this as a business. So you, you come up to him and you tell him, look, you got these knives right here. I can help you sell these knives. Okay, so you're going to you're going to help him make more money with his business. You're going to help him present his product in 3D. And that's not enough because what is he going to do with a 3D model? Okay, you have to make an animation which you can put onto a website. Now, he probably doesn't even have a website. So you got to make the website. You're going to find somebody who can make the website and either pay for it with your own money. You're going to make it yourself or you're going to take the money that he gives you and you're going to use that to hire somebody in Bangladesh to build you a website on which you're going to present his knives, okay? So th th this is what I'm telling you, like, I couldn't, I, I was completely blown away by how committed this guy was who sent me, uh, who sent me this stuff for review because he put in so much work. He can build a website for people, right? This is what you people gotta understand. You don't stand a chance next to him because you can make this bottle, sure, but what the fuck am I gonna do with that bottle? Okay, he's gonna put it on the website. Not only is he gonna do that, he's gonna make the website for you for people who don't have a website. Okay, so he his offer is if you have a business, I'm going to put you online. Needless to say, that's one of the most important things for a business. There's a lot of businesses which aren't even online. So the business doesn't give a fuck about it. You can make a 3D model for them. They don't give a shit about this. Okay, so you have to put together a package which you can deliver to them. Okay, this is where the money's at. Maybe you're gonna find some dude like Aryan. Okay. Maybe not even me. This is what I used to do. I used to do like small projects to get some, some pocket change. We'll go drink all this or we'll go, I don't know. We'll go fuck around with the money. This is chump change. You get somebody who's making a video game and they need, they need somebody to make them a model of a knife in the video game. You get a hundred bucks or some bullshit, right? It's a simple, it's a very simple thing. But the real money is when it comes to digital marketing, when it comes to business, when it comes to helping somebody grow their business, that's where the money is at, okay? So now... You're in a position where you, you can deal with large sums of money. Okay, so you're, you're a good 3D artist. Okay, fine. Everybody and their mother is a good 3D artist, by the way. Look how many people are subscribed to my channel. You don't have any idea how many portfolios I see. Every, this, people are really good at this shit. You won't just make money by people entering your DM and saying, hey, I'll pay you 500 bucks to model this and that's it. Sure, you're, you're going to get that. You can go talk to renderer because I think uh, my understanding is that this is what he does, right? I may, I'm, I'm talking out of my ass. I don't know what he does, but anyway, shout out to him because because he's obviously doing quite well, or to my understanding, to, based on the image which he projects on, on online. He does quite well with just creating 3D models for clients or 3D animations for clients. He doesn't do any of this crazy shit that I'm talking about right now, and he's clearly doing quite well. So go talk to him if you want to do that. But I'm trying to propose something different, okay? What I'm trying to propose to you is that you have to diversify your skills to the point where you're beyond your competition, okay? As I don't believe in, in 
perfect competition. I don't believe in participating in perfect competition. This, I, I don't want to do this shit. This, you don't look at me. I'm not like the other Blender YouTube channels. I'm here for something different. I'm here to take this shit to the next level. Okay. This is how I've always been. So if you really want to excel, if you really want to help somebody, if you really want to make a lot of money, you got to put together a system. You got to literally think, okay, this guy has a product or maybe this guy has a service or something. And you have to put together, what can you do for this person as much as possible? What can you do for them, which you can deliver to them? Okay. So you're going to construct this idea. Okay. You can build websites or, you know, somebody who can build websites. You can create 3d animations. You can create renders and all this other shit. Okay. That's one thing, but then you got to figure out how to implement this into the website. Maybe they don't have a website. All right. And then on top of that, you can figure out other things which you can include in this package. So you're going to build a whole, anyway, th 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 now I'm, I'm pushing it because you don't need to know this many different things, but let's say you have a skill, which you want to deliver. Okay. 3d design, you can create animations. Maybe you can create some kind of cool animation out of this bottle. Okay. Well now you got to learn how to use premiere pro. You got to learn how to use after effects. You got to get all these websites and subscriptions online where you can download elements to put into this commercial, which you're going to create for this person. You need to get some music. Right, you need to get some references. You gotta learn how to do this properly. You gotta learn how to edit videos, right? So that's a whole different thing that you have to learn, right? And then on top of that, so now you have really good skills. So now you have something which can genuinely help somebody. Now Aryan can get ads out of you for his bottle. He can sell his product. Okay. Well, how the fuck is Aryan gonna find out about you? Okay. Maybe you're gonna send him a message. He's probably gonna ghost you. you. Have any idea how many messages I get? I'm probably not even gonna respond. I'm not even gonna see your message. Everybody's trying to sell me some crazy shit. I don't even open messages for the most part. So you have to find a way to reach the people who might potentially want your offer. Okay. So you have to construct a second system. You have to construct a second thing in, in your career. You have to say to take the second step, which is going to be finding the people to which you could potentially deliver your service or your product or whatever the fuck it is that you're selling. Right? So now you have multiple options. You gotta go, you gotta learn how to use social media. If, if, if it's 2024, and if you're sitting here and you don't understand how social media works and how to reach people with social media, you're fucked. All right. Social media and using social media is basically the equivalent of hello. My name is Aryan back in the day, right? Or, or of, of being able, it's the equivalent of being able to write back in the day, right? It's basically like being literate. If you don't know how to, how social media works, you're so fucked. You don't even understand in the context of making money online or the, the digital economy. Of course, if you're trying to, if you're trying to be a lumberjack, you don't need to don't know how social media works. But since you're watching this, you're trying to make money online. You're trying to learn a digital skill in the context of digital skills. You got to learn how social media works. Okay. So you got to understand how to use your portfolio or how to use your social media account on Instagram, which should be your portfolio, to be honest with you how to use that to reach people, to attract people, what you can do. You can create some type of content. You can say something which is going to help some people depends on what you're offering to them, right? You have to think about this. What kind of content can you create? It's easy, man. You don't have to be like me. You can just pick up your phone, record something on your screen. That's what I do. I like got half a million views. It's, it's stupid, right? You have to figure out a way to reach the people through social media. So you have to learn how to use social media and you have to also figure out a way probably going to do some cold outreach. That's what most people are interested in doing because most people find it completely insane to use social media, to, to con create content. This is completely out of the question for you. So you got to do cold approaches, cold outreach. Someone's getting busted. So you have to figure out a system for reaching people. Now, this is probably not going to be the only way to do this, right? If you want to get a job or if you want to succeed in life, guess what? You're going to have to go out the front door and you're going to have to go talk to people. It's, it's hard to get around that shit. Now it's a digital age. Okay. You can do pretty much anything. You can pick up bitches online. You don't need to go talk to people for the most part. So you most of you people just completely forgot about this aspect of life, right? But if you really want to form good connections, you got to meet people in real life. Okay. So you got to be able to get out the house. You got to be talking to the right people. You got to find a way to get yourself surrounded by people to talk to some people who are actually doing something in your life. Now, if you're 17, this is difficult. It's a whole different discussion. How to do this, how to, how to talk to people who are up to something in life. We gotta, we gotta make a whole video about this shit. Let me know if you like this video style, where I just cuss at you. I just yell at you 
for what is that 15 minutes and I lecture you about some bullshit and like we can talk more about this because I think this is important but I don't know how many of you actually give a shit about this topic okay I'm at the end of the day I'm here running my business right so if not if no, nobody cares if nobody is interested in how to get their life together I'm not gonna make these fucking videos right but anyway today I just felt the need to stick my foot up your ass because you guys don't understand how hard you gotta work but you gotta find a way to find the people to which you can potentially deliver your service. And you gotta find a lot of these people because most of them are not gonna care. Either they already got somebody or they, they don't like you or they don't got the money or they're just not, not in a position, they don't have time to talk to you right now, right? So you're gonna have to try with a lot of people. And then on top of that, you're gonna have to, through practice and through experience, figure out a way to effectively and properly and quickly deliver this service to them and implement it, right? Because you can't just get somebody pay you some money and then you take six months to do this shit, right? You have to figure out a way to do this quickly, to deliver your service the way it's supposed to be, to understand how to behave in certain situations, how to negotiate, how to talk money, how to transfer the money, how to accept payments, how to... <laughs> you guys have no fucking idea how much you have to go through if you want to make money online, all right? Just 3D modeling ain't enough. This is why most of you people are here watching these videos endlessly. And for you, it just feels like a distant dream to be a professional, right? Now, here's what I'm going to tell you to wrap this shit up because I don't feel like sitting here anymore. There's going to be a link in the description. You're going to click on that link and it's going to be a question which you have to answer. And you're not going to fucking lie to me, okay? Because I know when you're lying to me. Don't lie to me. Don't waste my time by lying to me. And if you're serious about this, you're going to give me your email. And I'm soon going to send you a course which I'm creating right now. That's why I'm not leaving my house. I'm not even uploading videos nowadays. I'm literally spending all day creating this course. And this course is going to be dedicated to the following. We're going to teach you how to get good at Blender as soon as possible, if you're a complete beginner, to how you can get enough skills that you can create anything in Blender. You can make stuff in Blender, okay? So the point is to give you the skill. That's the first step, that's the easy step, right? Most of you already have this. You can just watch my video, I like 300 something. And then we're going to teach you guys we're gonna have a bunch of extensive lectures. We're gonna get people on, we're gonna have some guests when the time is right. We're gonna talk about this shit very deeply, very thoroughly, very extensively. How to create artworks which are going to target a specific type of customer. How you can start to build an offer with your skills. How you can start to look for clients. How you can start reaching people. How you can start looking for potential employers or contractors or whatever. How you can present yourself and conduct yourself like a professional so that you can start making some money on the internet, right? So we're gonna, we're gonna give you guys the entire system, everything that you're ever going to need for this, okay? We're gonna, we're gonna put you on game, because I don't see enough people talking about this shit. There's no thorough explanation of this, especially in the context of 3D, right? So I'm gonna give you guys everything that you're gonna need for this. So put your email below, and I'm gonna reach out to you with this shit, if you're really interested in learning about this type of stuff, because I know most people here just wanna see 3D modeling. They just wanna see me make a car. They just wanna see me use the word topology, and use the word, new blender update and blender add-on and all this shit, whatever, right? But this, <laughs> this shit is more complicated than you guys are understand, right? There's really a lot of work you gotta do. So that's what I'm trying to teach you. This is what I'm trying to tell you in this video. You have to think about this very, very carefully. When you go to bed at night, you have to think about this. When you go, when you walk around shopping, you have to think in your mind, take some notes on your phone when you're sitting on the bus. Don't just play a stupid video game on your phone. Take notes on the bus, okay. How can I become good? How can I become a professional? How can I get clients? How can I make money? How can I make a career out of this shit? Okay, have, you have to think about what you're going to do with your life to make a plan for this shit. It's not easy. That's all I have to say to you guys. Like the damn video. Tell me in the comments if you think what I'm saying is kind of true or maybe I'm just a fucking asshole yelling at you. Whatever, don't, don't even bother saying that. I don't give a shit what you think, okay? Because I know what I'm telling you is the truth. So like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.